Now we derive the formula for the derivative of inverse function. Suppose that is y equals the inverse function of fx. How to find the derivative y with respect to x? Uh, there's multiple ways to derive the formula of inverse function, but the most easiest uh, the most and the, the easiest way may be use the implicit differentiation. So y equals the inverse function of fx. Then we have x equals f y. Then use use the in, uh, implicit differenti differentiation. Uh, take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we have dx dx equals d dx fy. The left hand side is 1. The right hand side is first take the derivative for y. Then take the derivative of y to x. Then we solve dy by dx, that is 1 over uh, derivative of fy. Or we can write uh, insert, insert back to x. We use now we got the uh, the derivative of inverse function. Uh, note uh, if we want to find the derivative derivative of inverse function at some at some point, then we can write as equals one over the derivative of f y, but let x equals a. That's the first note. So uh, if we want to find the derivative at x equals a, now we should change back to y. That is the derivative at some point. The second note that 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 is we can find the inverse uh, the derivative of inverse function by the definition. If we let g x equals the inverse function of f x, then g the derivative of g x at a equals x. Uh, approaches to a that is gx minus ga that is x minus a then x because gx is the inverse function of fx so x that is f y uh, gx gx, uh, this is y, that is y, ga, we, if we let, uh, if we let ga, uh, maybe that we can write it as b, that means fb, equals a because that that is uh, inverse function so that is y minus uh, ga is b then f y minus f b and uh, x tends to a that means y tends to b 
as y minus p as f y minus f p so we uh, flip flip the flip is fraction that is a one over f y minus f p over y minus p so that is y tends to p oh, so that is 1 over f to the p uh, uh, the derivative of f at p that is 1 over at f so if we want to find the derivative of inverse function at that point we should uh, find out b not just a because here uh, if we uh, have only the uh, have the expression for f so the inverse function should be uh, find out what is b is Now we'll take some examples. Oh, and if we uh, change A to be to be any number X, then we got uh, G of x the, the derivative of gx that is 1 over f prime f negative uh, f inverse a uh, that's x that is 1 over f prime y okay now let's see some examples the first one is uh, suppose fx equals x of five x to the five plus x plus one find out uh, the inverse function the derivative of inverse function x and uh, the derivative of inverse function x some point like uh, one. Now we ha we have the formula. Yeah. Any of this two formula. So let y equals the inverse function of fx then dy over dx that is the derivative of inverse function that is 1 over f y and the derivative of f y but the derivative of fx that is 5x to the 4 plus 1 so dy over dx that is 1 over f prime y that's f prime y that is change the derivative of fx change the x to be the, the variable of y that is 5y to the 4 plus 1 that's the first part the second part f pr uh, inverse the derivative of inverse function at 1 that is dy over dx at x equals 1 at x equals 1 so we need to find y when x equals 1 means this is 
when x equals 1, y, what is y? When x equals 1, that means here. We can write as 1 over f prime f negative 1. So that means when x equals 1, that is 1 equals um, f y. 1 equals f y. Then what is y? Because because x equals f y. So when x equals 1, what is y? That is 1 equals y of 5 plus, uh, plus y plus 1. So that means y equals 0. So the derivative of the inverse function at this point, that is uh, 1 over f prime 0. That's 4 times 0 plus 1, that is 1. That's the inverse function, the derivative of inverse function. We should take care uh, at some point when we evaluate the uh, derivative of inverse function at that point, we need to uh, change back to the change back to uh, find the uh, change back to f to find the value of y here, because x equals one mean, means uh, f y equals one. Then how to find the uh, value of y? Okay, uh, let's see another example. If fx equals 2x uh, plus cosine x, uh, find the derivative of inverse function at x equals 1. Use the same trick above. We know that the derivative of inverse function that is 1 over f prime y. Here y equals uh, f inverse function. So first we have the derivative of fx, that is 2 minus sine x. So f inverse, the inverse function, the derivative of inverse, fu inverse function, that is 1 over 2 minus sine y. And we evaluate the derivative at such point at 1, 1 f, uh, 1 over 2 minus sine y at x equals 1. x equals 1. x equals 1, that means 1 equals f y. f y is 2 y plus cosine y. That's our function. That's f. Okay, uh, we found that uh, 2y cosine y mm, that equals uh, at x equals 1. Mm, okay, that means when y equals 0, cosine 0 is 1, and uh, 
then uh, if y equals 0 and uh, x equals 1, that f y equals 1. So the derivative of inverse function at inverse fx at x equals 1, that is 1 over 2 minus sine 0. Sine 0 is 0, so that is 1 half. That is how to find the derivative of inverse function. We should take, uh, take care, pay, uh, pay attention at, at some point.